Well, Mr. Wilson, your chart calls for plenty of rest, neck rubs, and three hot meals a day. Boy, oh boy, what a setup. Free food, a TV, and round the clock care. Hmm, suddenly I don't feel so well. Dr. Woody prescribes bed rest, big meals, and hours of TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nurse! Oh, thanks for coming. I'm head nurse Meanie. Uh, well, 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 my head's fine. I don't need a head nurse. I need the neck rub nurse from next door. Uh, 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 your chart says you're to get lots of rest. I don't feel like resting anymore. Good! Then I'll just have to tire you out with some old-fashioned exercise. You know, nothing relaxes me before bedtime like weightlifting. <laughs> now you try. Oh, my. You should never lift weights when you're that sleepy. Oh, this isn't going like I planned. Your chart calls for big meals. Diggity dog, bring on the cow, Nurse Frau. I made you extra large portions of today's special. Ta da! Bran muffins, bran salad, and for dessert, a bran souffle. Yeah. I mean, yum, yum. Healthy food makes a healthy body. I'm gonna watch you eat every bite. Lucky me. Yum. Oops, your chart fell. Hmm, I don't remember that statue. Must be a new interior decorator on this ward. Oh, and don't worry, there's lots more bran left over for dinner. Easy, big fella. I know we didn't eat, but we still got TV. The identity of the thief is none other than... There's a sicker patient in room 302 who needs this TV. Sorry, but it's hospital policy. Oh, yeah? So I'm not sick enough, eh? We'll see about that. Oh, my! I'm so sick. Sicker than the guy with the TV. Oh. Well, you're covered in sweat. Oh, <gasps> and chicken pox. <laughs> you're burning up. A hot water bottle? Aha! So you've been faking. <laughs> what do you know? I'm cured. You'll answer to the hospital administrator for this! Code red, code blue, I'm out of here. Stop that. Woo-hoo! Coming through. Come back, you freeloader! <laughs> hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -uh. Sleeping on the job, are we, head nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Find Nurse Meanie, Doctor. She wants me to see her patient. Ah, phooey. I gotta find a way to get past the head honcho. Bingo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The worst case of dizzy smack you silly itis I've ever seen. Luckily, it's not serious. Work pretty well. Yeah. Got ya, doctor. Cancel my appointments, nurse. This is my golf day. Come back here, you little malpractice vulture! Oh, I'm I'm terribly sorry, sir. 
You young folk, always in a hurry. Uh, uh, in my days, we respected our elders. What Another chicken pox case. This could be very serious. You've done a fine job getting him here. But you look tired. Take the rest of the day off. Whoopee! Yeah! All right! <laughs> oh, I mean, th thank you, ma'am. Wow! Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Wrestling tonight. Ah, come on. <laughs> that wrestling stuff is so fake. Oh, then you could probably win the $5,000 prize they're giving away to anyone who could beat the champ tonight. $5,000? Tell him to make the check out to Woody Woodpecker, bub. I could beat the chump blindfolded, standing on one leg, with both hands behind my back. Then let the wrestling! The Grand Elena versus anyone! And here comes our first challenger now. Let's hear it for Woody Woodpecker! <laughs> and now, world champion, the Grand Elena! <laughs> hey, uh, don't I know you? Nice trick, bub. Licorice ropes, huh? I won't even hit you. Just run into my fist. <laughs> oh, look, a hangnail. <laughs> and there's the bell for the start of the first round. Woody Woodpecker voices the granulated. <laughs> I'll pin you. Where'd you go? Huh? Oh, oh, tremendous! Woody could be down for the count, ladies and gents. Wait, what's this? The granulator is making woodpecker pancakes. Ow! One, two, three, you! Let me back in. I get him right where I want him. Sorry, one shot per contender. Who's our next challenger? Whoa! <laughs> okay, so maybe wrestling's not all fake. But you know, just the right gimmick. I bet I can psych this guy out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next contender, hailing from the moors of Scotland, let's give it up for... The Scottish Scarecrow! Uh, I don't know any Scottish Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, you have embarrassed me and me tartan. Prepare to suffer the consequences. <laughs> It's time for me patented table toss takedown. He's got him on the left, on the right, on the left. What a wrestler! Day 
Can you see? The granulator couldn't even get out of the way of me lumber and cable toss, no, could he? No! He's slow! Oh. One, two, three, you're out! Okay, okay, he's big, he's bad. But I bet I can still beat him with pure woodpecker speed. The next contender, welcome the Shah from afar. Hey! Whoa, Das Badania Lasagna. How did you do that? Russian ballet training. Allow me to demonstrate. And lift like so. Ah, who is champ now, my little comrade? Help, help, help. Oh, what a turn of events. The blinding speed of the Tsar has... Wait, don't count the granulator out just yet. Didn't I think of this before? Oh, my word, ladies and gentlemen, it's the match to end all matches. It looks like the granulator versus. Mama? Now stand up straight, Sonny. Everybody's looking. This is totally unheard of. Will the granulator's mama put him down for the count? You sit right here where it's safe, Mama. Oh, my, are you sure it's safe, Sonny? I've heard about so many folding chair accidents lately. <laughs> Mama? <laughs> Mama, you're right. That chair could have taken you out. Oops. Uh, be a good boy and pick up my pocketbook, dear. <laughs> Mama, I gotta go wrestle. <sighs> Why didn't I think of it before? Uh, Sonny boy, you listen to your mama. You need some rest. This is unheard of. The granulator's mom is making the champ take a nap. But mama... Uh-uh-uh. No buts. Down you go. Now close your eyes. rock a by wrestler down on the mat. Count the little sheep with me. One, two, three, and you're out. The granulator has gone down in defeat. Now I want you all to leave quietly so Sunny Boy doesn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy, let's see. I pecked there, and there, and wow, I pecked there, all right. Okay, Scouts, that ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <laughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Unpack trees, and they're all for me. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I'd better head back to civilization. <laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... <gasps> <laughs> 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 
Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why, I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. Flat the river get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbor. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I... I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally. Friends, neighbors and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Raised pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. <laughs> Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. I stand a good chance of winning speed of the year award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The speed of the year award. We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> no, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter! I am the Woody Woodpecker! No! No! I am Speed of the Year! I am Speed of the Year! Hello? Doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? It's that woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, doctor. I think I have a plan. <laughs> Woody, wake up. I have a treat for you. My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Woody. 
Would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, bub. Ah, something should never change. is full. this dining emporium that you are a woodpecker who enjoys packing away the groceries. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> the answer is D. I am always right. Yeah. Oh, and uh, because you are a culinarian of the highest order, I am about to introduce to you a revolutionary new device. It will give you free chow for life. May I present, tum ta ta tum the fabulous food box by Scamco. It's a shipping crate. Oh, it may look like an ordinary shipping crate, but can an ordinary crate turn any object into delicious food? Okay, prove it. No problem. Yeah. How's about a fresh glass of water made from, say, uh... This old nail. One fresh glass of water, old fabulous food box. Oh, a glass of water coming up. <laughs> huh. Oh, no. huh? Yeah, it's probably water in that pipe. No sneak previewing. Wow! Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Oh, well, I'll check on your water. Yeah, quick, Twiggy. Make like a cork and plug that leak. So, how many boxes you want, sport? Not so fast. Let me see you turn this hubcap into a large pizza. Oh, you boy, you boy, you don't. One super deluxe pizza pie on the double, oh fabulous food box. Pizza's ready! So, you're gonna buy the box now? Oh, Woodpecker! <laughs> Sure, sure. <laughs> After dessert. Hey, make me an ice cream cone from the... Uh, this rock. Ow! One ice cream cone, oh fabulous food box. We're recalling the rocky road, but you can have this rock. Look, you crazy woodpecker. You only get inside the box after you pay. Wow! Rocky Road, my favorite. I love this box. <laughs> and I love your dough. My very own fabulous food box. I'll never be hungry again. One grilled cheese sandwich, please. Extra greasy. Hmm, must be ready. That's the worst grilled cheese sandwich I ever had. Hey, what's the big idea? So that's it. 
They were scamming me with food from the buffet. The second sitting is about to begin. Hey, Bob, we gotta talk. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa! Hey, boss, isn't that the sucker we just suck it a lot? But that's impossible! I uh, <laughs> think we might have sold you a defective food box there, sport. No, oh, yeah, we might need to recall this model for ourselves and such. He uh, means for uh, retooling purposes, that is. Well, uh, let me take a quick look see inside. <laughs> Take this box in for some serious service and sport. It's gonna cost ya. Oh, uh, here's your 50 bucks back. You want me to give up free food for life for a lousy 50? No way! Fine, fine, take everything I got. Just give me the box. <laughs> Just thinking about all that food's making me stronger, boss. It seems lighter already. We just made the find of a lifetime. Woohoo! Ten, fifteen, twenty. That should cover the food they stole from you. And here's an extra five for my ticket to the buffet. No, 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 no. This one is on the house, Woody. <laughs> Meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. <laughs> oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Nice warm smell of fire. No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no, oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. 
red, young, nice, playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, uh, and just a hint of, of... Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course. <laughs> My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid bowel. Look. This is you. This is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Uh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy-minded duckiness. <coughs> <coughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cosy? <laughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, bananas flaming. <gasps> what an awesome red meteorite! It's the third time I've seen it this month. I'll name you Winnie Might. <laughs> Position: Azimuth, thirty point one at twelve degrees in Scorpio. Oh, I wish I could be an astronaut so I could see the stars up close. <laughs> hmm. If found, return to the Torsten Space Launch Center. Wow. This could be my ticket to ride. Look at that. No, you're wrong. Nuclear fission. Oh, a Phillips head. Yes! Excuse me. I'm Winnie Woodpecker. Is this yours? Ah! My medium mounted a satellite! Hmm. This is what protects Earth. This is bad! Wow! Is that a giant blue ice meteor hurtling towards Earth, Professor? Where? 
That doesn't... We're doomed! Ah! Earth is toast! I need a space crew! Perhaps I could... Oh! It couldn't hurt to just try this on. Oh. Ah, my crew person! But I just called. How did you get here so fast? Fax, email. Let's go! But, Professor, I'm I'll not... finish this toast. We've got to stop that media! <laughs> I'm breaking out in hives. Oh, this itches. Oh, this is not good. Bad, bad, bad thing. Need lotion. Ointment would be good. <laughs> that a good idea, Professor. Now, there's three reasons why I can help. I'm a fast learner. I don't use up much oxygen. And I'm all you got, mister. So let's get to it. Uh, release me now. Yes, sir. No, no, I'm not... Oh! Oh! Professor, there's zero gravity! Uh, must get the satellite out there fast! Winnie, energize my jetpack! Oh, this is my big opportunity to make one giant leap for all woodpeckers! <laughs> yes, who's there? Those kids today? Hurry! It's not... Okay, okay, maybe it's... She, no, what, what did she say? What Professor Quark means is that together we fired these lasers at the ice meteor and... Ah! What, are you, what are you doing? The lasers! You're my 
Shoot that thing off! This just in. I'm getting word the National Space Division has reported some unauthorized laser activity. It has knocked a red meteor onto a collision course with Earth. And this one's in the shape of a giant woodpecker. Come on, Professor. We've got work to do. Oh, hello. No! Space woodpeckers, dangerous! It's, I'm breaking out in hives again! What do you know? It's finally Father's Day! Mwah! The day of our annual father-son tea-off, Pops! No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual father-son golf tournament? <laughs> <laughs> you betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me, just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm going to get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tears off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. oh, the love of Mike, laddie. Are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now. No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. As quick as messy on dry land. Are you that out of shape, would you? Get out and about and feel the wind beneath your kilt, like a real woodpecker would. Dolphins. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. That my ball, there, boy. Better stop laying about. I'm beating you, laddie. <laughs> I'll bet it's a hole in one. I'm guessing the trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. Merciful divots, that was a beauty of a hit, son. I can say is you'll have to play the ball where it lies, Boyo. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. With that shot, 
I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you? It is not my ball. It is an English ball, and I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. Well, what do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the neck peckers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> Come on, swing already. Come on, come on. Moody boy, speak to me. Speak to your old dad. <laughs> I hate that best to him. I pushed him too hard. I don't deserve to wear this cap. I don't deserve this bonny swell cappy. Son. I only want you to know. Uh, oh, thank the great kilt giver, you're all right. Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, <coughs> I might be back to my old self if I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my Sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You weren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boy -o. That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year. <laughs> Lover, I'm here to tell you about Colonel Pop's Sweet Corn Chunk Sweepstakes. Here's your game piece, and good luck. Oh, boy. I won! <laughs> Woody Woodpecker, you've just won your very own farm. Imagine it. This here swamp, mud pies. Say, Bob, I want a sweepstakes and I'm taking over the Colonel Pop's corn farm. Do you know where it is? You city folk are funny. <laughs> Seems you got all turned around. Colonel Pop's corn farm is, uh... uh -huh. Why, the farm is, uh... Right here. You've arrived. <laughs> uh, excuse me, just a country sec. Caretaker, <laughs> Gabby Gator. Whoa. Ah. Here's your farm, son. This is a swamp. Right, a uh, swamp farm. <laughs> Look, Bob, I won myself a farm with all the trimmings. So, where's my tire swing? Uh, isn't it over there? Silly me, my mistake, it's over here. Woohoo! And where's my corn? <laughs> where's my... Oh, you city folk, this isn't swamp corn season. 
Well, then where's the corn grub, Bob? Oh, yeah! Yes, come right up. Now you just enjoy yourself, son. More like it. They'll be cooked in a jiffy. Uh, meanwhile, take a load off on this here country fort swine. Get them while they're hot! <laughs> <sighs> Some good old corn fed woodpecker. Woodpecker is to shire sauce. Hmm, he wants to have me for dinner, does he? Say, Gabby, there's my tractor. Ah, <laughs> uh, swamp farms don't have uh, tractors, son. Then I'm going back to the city. No, 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 you don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, one tractor coming right up. I'll teach this gator never to mess with a woodpecker again, much less try to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> Swing, Gabby. I want corn fritters, Gabby. Let me drive a tractor, Gator. Oh, I'll tell you, it's no good when dinner bosses you around. farm up the way. <laughs> Excuse the fashion show here. I I've been waiting for the Colonel Pops contest winner to arrive, but some dumb gator's been causing me a whole heap of trouble. I you haven't seen him, have you? Hey, I'm the contest winner. <laughs> and there's your dumb gator. <laughs> Come here, you corn napping varmint. <laughs> Come on, I ain't just in this for nothing. I'll get it back here right now. Upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world famous super scout, Slapshot Smedley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. I am 
world famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> So fast, small fry. You're the property of the International World Hockey League, and I show now. So listen up. My reputation's on the line. And before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges, if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now what is he? On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big time hockey move. That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Eee. Now I know why they called a face-off. This boy sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in sticks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in Hockey Scout. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy, how's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. That'll get his mind in this game for certain. Yeah, 
Yes, sir. The upcoming <laughs> hockey season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no know, talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls' high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, penguin! Oh, too bad! For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs.